Okay guys, so I'm back in Genshin Impact. I'm going to finish the final part of the Windbloom Festival, part 3. And let's see how it ends. There's a gift here, Windbloom gift. Oh, okay. So let's go there. Back to the Sucrose mailbox. <laughs> I can just teleport, why didn't I, uh, uh suppose it's right there. Huh. And Collie is there too. Hey, we here! Traveler, Paimon, great timing. We got a lot of letters in the mailbox, and I just finished sorting them into four groups. even started yet hmm. which batch of letters should we read through first okay so oh, just that just like that all right now what take a look at the clue board and read the letters okay since Carly is here Same dialogue. <laughs> okay. Blue board. Let's see. Read letters about a flower that's not of this world. A guide who will never get lost. One who will never lie. A legend that never ends. This one first. Uh, Tanari first. Oh, there's so many. Sounds like a logical paradox. Uh, yeah. Doesn't have to be a real plan. The person who came up with this riddle may not know all the plants in the world. You could even think of some rare plants as potential candidates for the answer. Okay. Unless it's someone who's not from this world. Hmm. Albedo's letter. Hmm. Think out of the box. Sucrose also came to discuss her thought. She hasn't decided on the answer, so I won't reveal my own conclusion. We can discuss it detail when we meet. Okay then. Sucrose? <laughs> she even put a letter for herself. Uh, okay. Instead of creating an actual plant, a flower shape mechan mechanism made of alchemical products might fit. A clock in the shape of a flower. Okay. Alright, let's read the others. Uh, what about a guide who will never get lost? Mona's letter. Mm. Okay, I will witness the truth behind the prophecy together. Okay. <laughs> Bennett's letter. My friend Fisher and a friend Mona are both very knowledgeable and brave. They're probably the ones you're looking for. That's my answer. Okay. <laughs> we don't have Fisher in. F we, yeah, we didn't meet Fisher at all. So, Amber's letter. Guide. Everything written below is not meant for Carly. <laughs> okay. Uh. Something about Kali down here, <laughs> but she doesn't look cheerful. Okay, Amber realized that too. Even Amber even wrote the wish, could uncover the secret behind the prophecy and find happiness. Ah, okay. <laughs> Mika's letter. Tried drawing a map showing vegetation distribution for Miss Tanari and Miss Kali. And a dragon spotting calendar for Mr. Sino. Alright. Okay, next. One who would never lie. Sino. You're correct to assume that I seldom lie. Uh, if you need someone who would never lie, I can join you. <laughs> okay. Rosaria's letter 
I am not someone who would never lie. I often make up excuses to avoid coy or practice. I also tell white lies too. The nicest lie I've ever come up with is the one told Varkar. Didn't want to stay in Mondstadt. Varkar responded with another lie. Okay. That you consider what never lying actually means. Okay. Razor? Oh, Lisa helped Razor to write. No wonder how Razor will write. <laughs> I don't lie, I trust you. Okay. And the last one, a legend that never ends. Lisa's letter. As long as a good story lives in people's hearts, it does in some way live on forever. Okay. Please, letter. Mom writes travel guys, but she did have friends who wrote fairy tales, so please hear a story. Its author spends their whole life writing will be a good one. <laughs> okay. Call this letter. I think something new for everyone that touches. Okay. I think that's everyone. Talk to Sucrose. What if I talk to Kali instead? Let me quickly summarize what we found out about a flower that is not of this world. Tainari believes that on closer examination, it might be logically paradoxical. Mm -hmm. While Albedo says that his answer would be better discussed at length in person. As for my answer, I think a clock in the shape of a flower would constitute one that is not of this world. Here's what we've gathered regarding a guide who will never get lost. Mona said that she'd like to join us in uncovering the secret behind the prophecy. While Bennett suggests Fischl, Mona, or the Traveler as potential candidates. Hmm. Mika didn't submit much, but he did draw a vegetation map for Master Tainari and wrote up a dragon spotting calendar for Sino. Yep. Amber also wrote in. She said that she sees herself as nobody's guide, but everybody's friend. So I assume Kali didn't read the rest of Ember's. <laughs> As for one who would never lie, Rosaria okay. removed herself from consideration, but both Razor and Sino were willing to support us in our search. Timaeus seems to have forgotten uh, yeah. to write to us. Uh, we didn't see Timaeus that the... Uh, and finally, <laughs> this is what we've gathered on a legend that never ends. Kali said that her mom has a number of friends who like to write storybooks. Yeah, Alice. Lisa believes that legends live forever in people's hearts. I think that for a legend to be never ending, it has to be filled with hopes and dreams and actively pass from one person to the next. So, what are the answers to the four riddles then? I mean, there are many answers. Uh, you're really smart, Paimon. I bet you can figure it all out in no time. Or, let's all share our thoughts on what we think the answers might be. Okay. Ah, oh, there's Timaeus. Wait for me! <laughs> He's oh, just Timaeus, late. what brings you here? I'm sorry, I really am. The time just got away from me and I didn't get around to writing that letter. However, I'm happy to announce that I think I can be the one who would never lie. Huh? This is kind of sudden. Not that we don't trust you, Timaeus, but, um, could you elaborate a little after you catch your breath? Uh, of course, of course. <sighs> Do you still remember the time I, uh, um, collaborated with a certain yes, Miss Ying R? Yes. Well, basically, she helped me out a lot with my research into potion making once, and, well, we've stayed in touch through letters ever since. Wait, so Ying R yep. is the girl from Leela that Sukos mentioned earlier? We always assumed you were hard at work every time we saw you at the crafty event. So you've just been writing letters to Ying R the whole time? Uh, no, well, I mean, not all the time. I've done some work too. A and anyway, our correspondence covers a lot of serious topics, like perfumes, potions, alchemy. Anyway, a few months ago, I made a vow to the heavens that I will be true to myself and never utter an insincere word <laughs> until the day that I've managed to win Miss Ying R's heart. So, at Star Snatch 
Coach Cliff, you were picking Cecilia's as a gift for Yingar? Well, that's right. The Cecilia flower is said to represent a once wayward heart, transformed by the power of love. I couldn't think of a better flower to give than that. I know full well that Miss Ying R is far more knowledgeable than I in both the ways of the world and the ways of our craft, but I thought I should make the effort for once and put myself out there. <clears throat> Which brings me to the subject of the last few days and the Windbloom Festival. I thought it was time for me to invite Miss Ying R to Mondstadt, but yesterday, Albedo told me that Sucrose has been working hard to help another girl achieve her dream. Albedo, see? <gasps> oh. And when I went to take a look at our roster, I saw that she'd done my remaining work for me. I feel incredibly guilty. I've been spending all of my time in my own fantasy world while everyone else has been bending over backwards to help other people. How could I ever hope to be worthy of Miss Yang R's love if I'm so selfish? Oh, Timaeus. And that's why I've decided to join you. But then what about Yang R? Yeah. Haven't you been planning this for over a month now? You said you were going to invite her to Mondstadt. Uh, well, yes. I, I did mention in my letters that I'd like her to visit, which is why I just sent her another gift with my hand-picked wind blooms, along with a handwritten letter. I explained that a matter of great importance has presented itself to which I must devote my full attention for the time being. As soon as it's resolved, I'll make haste to Liyue to pick her up in person. Hmm. I made sure to package the gift and letter with the greatest care. All I can do now is hope that she'll understand. Uh, point being, please know that I sincerely want to support you in this endeavor. Plus, I think I'm an honest person. As far as I recall, I don't think I've told a single lie in my life. Well. You certainly convinced Paimon with that speech. <laughs> Don't worry, Timaeus. We won't let your determination go to waste. Thank you, Timaeus. Ah, oh, thank you, everyone. I promise to do everything I can to help. Okay, so it looks like we found our one who would never lie. Okay, so Timaeus is our answer for this one. What about the other three? Uh, okay, everyone gathers. Okay, oh. we'll <clears throat> We have Cleemona Albedo. We this have time. with us here the flower, the guide, the legend, and Timaeus. The flower, the guide, the legend. Wait. <laughs> you should say my name too. Wait, so. Alright, alright, we also have Klee. That's me! <laughs> Wait, what is Klee then? The flower, the. What was it again? Uh, the flower, the legend, the. Uh, what's the third one? Klee here, the... this all somehow feels like we're getting ready for a field trip. <laughs> well, there's nothing the wrong with a more relaxed atmosphere, is there? So what's the answer? Of course. We will soon see if my hypothesis has any merit. Actually, I'm still feeling a little nervous. Me too. But weren't you all fired up just a moment ago? Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay, let's do this. Actually, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm a little worried too. I don't get it. What are we doing? I know what you're feeling. Saying anything becomes so much harder when there are so many people watching. Mm-hmm. Well, does anyone know the exact location yeah, where of where going? we're headed, or should I do a reading on my scry glass? Hmm. According to the prophecy, once we've figured out the answer, we should test it at the Lantern of Utmost Joy. Wait, but where is this lantern? Lantern of Utmost Joy? Oh, you know something about that! Oh, the traveler knows already. Huh? You make up the story how you- Oh, wow. Venti! God damn it. That's amazing! You really know how to do everything with right. the sun. Venti figured out something. Then we'll let you lead the way. This is it! We're off to find the secret location of the Lantern of Utmost Joy! 
All right, what is this actually? So wait, we have who again? Klee. We have Mona. Klee can help. We have Polly Sucrose. Well. Destiny. All right, let's go. <laughs> this is our team right now. Right here. Stand clear. It's above. It's not below. I thought it was a, I thought it was below. I might as well switch characters. <laughs> Wait. Um go back. <laughs> this is, did not go well. It's supposed to go above, huh? According to the map, it should be somewhere around here. Okay. Let me take a look. Oh, it should be right up ahead. Right here? What is it here? Lantern of Utmost Joy? Joy actually looks like, right? Maybe hmm. we've overlooked something? Traveler, are you trying to figure out something else from the paper? Yeah. Venti's note here says we should look up and seek the answer from the sky. So we just look up. The step also says now you should recite the incantation. Eh? Come on. Place the squirrel on the back of the pointy eared cat, and a pious puppy will open the doors to show you the way. Huh. Paimo read the whole thing out loud, but nothing's happening. You have to say that. Place the squirrel on the back of the pointy eared cat, and a pious puppy will open the doors to show you the way. What? Oh. Look! Look! The wind is blowing! It's just a wind current, okay. What a strong wind current. Well, let's write it up and see where it leads us. So you just see that and the wind current huh? comes up. We'll have to fly up there? Uh, <laughs> can someone carry me with them? Here. Mm, Tomaeus doesn't have a wind, uh, wind glider. So we're going up here. Um, where we go? Oh wait, investigate the floating island. There's an island in the place? Oh, that one. That is new. Okay. Ah, this is the first time I've ever flown like this! Ooh. What? What is this place? There's a table. And is that the lantern? I see a lantern on the table. How did this little island get up here in the sky? Hmm. Did somebody make it? I don't know where I wasn't here before. Just to be safe, I've been jotting down our entire route here. This way, no one will get lost. Who would have thought we'd find this kind of table here? 
<laughs> tea Man, party. It's almost as if someone was holding a tea party. I never would have guessed that such a place could exist. Right above Mondstadt, too. <gasps> wow, look at that pretty lantern on the table. There's even a chair for each side of the lantern, too. There seems to be something on the back of this chair. Hmm? Let me have a closer look. What's... Take your seat, present your answers, and you shall reach enlightenment. Present your answers. Well, as far as instructions go, I guess that's simple enough. So we just need to do as it says, right? Wait a second. Hmm? Huh? What is it, Albedo? We'd better make sure this place is safe before taking our seats. <laughs> Everyone, yeah. please stay clear for a moment. What is... Everyone watches as Albedo conducts a thorough investigation. Well, all our questions and doubts aside, the scenery here is pretty amazing. <laughs> It'd be impossible to feel stressed here. How is everything, Albedo? Hmm. Everything seems to be fine. I didn't find any traps or suspicious mechanisms, but I also couldn't find any overt destructive devices. Huh? What do you mean? Well, it seems that wrong answers won't have any catastrophic consequences. Looks like we'll have to sit on these chairs and fulfill the prophecy. So this prophecy thing doesn't matter if you're wrong or what, <laughs> I guess. Everyone, I would like to suggest that we try some risky answers on our first attempt. Let's reserve our most confident answers for the second round. Uh... Okay. That sounds kind of smart, but why? Just to see what will happen. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get what he means. If we do as he says, figure out the puzzle. we may be able to figure out how the puzzle works. I see. That makes a lot of sense. <sighs> hmm? Mona, is there something wrong? You're not looking too good. Oh, are you hungry? I brought some snacks. I don't think that's it. Thank you for offering, Clee, but that's not quite it. While Alveda was checking just now, I gave my scryglass a spin hoping to find some information. And? There's a strange aura to this place. It's almost as if someone has been staring at me as soon as we stepped foot in here. Oh? No, 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 I, I, I see that music, uh, thing over there. That reminds me of someone already. Is it Cleese, mom? Is it Alice? I might be wrong, but. But if nothing here has actually been physically tampered with, then, no, could that person be? It's Alice. Mona just shivered. Did she send some kind of great power? What do you mean, Mona? Who could it be? Uh, never mind. It's not like I've got any proof. I'm pretty sure. Uh, don't leave us on the edge like this, Mona. Hmm. I'll just do what Albedo said. Yes. Well, let's test the hypothesis together, Clee. Okay. <laughs> the first question do we have to sit down if first if someone were to ask me to find a flower that is not of this world you can do it sucrose um take a risky answer oh we're sitting down and then answer then i would fetch a tetratonic sweet flower all right i'm up next my part of the prophecy is to find a guide who will never get lost mm-hmm will be that guide <laughs> for a long time i have been guided by others it's taken me a while but i finally made it to where i am today although i still haven't made a name for myself and i'm still quite immature i i would still like to put my name forward because i would like to become a guide that can help others i want to help others the same way amber 
Master Tainari, Sino, and everyone else helped me. Now it's my turn to pass on the gift that I've been given. All right. It's up to me to answer the third part. I, I, I'll submit myself as one who would never lie. Although I've never really had any other virtues or talents, I'm confident that I've always been an honest person. I, I'd like to thank everyone, too, for giving me this opportunity to validate myself. And last but not least, I will answer the final part of the prophecy. There's no tale more befitting the title of a legend that never ends than our fates as human beings. Okay. Wait! Oh. The lantern just lit up! Oh? Okay. Whoa! All four sides of the lantern are glowing! Does that mean anything? Huh? But... Yeah, we just submit a batch of test answers. Kali, could I ask you to stand up for a second? Is it if all four are sitting down, then it lights up? Oh, uh, all right. Ah, one side went off, and it lights up again. Hmm. So it's just um mechanism if all four are sitting down. Huh? What's going on? Why is it lighting up regardless <laughs> of who's sitting? It's pretty clear now, isn't it? There's no right We've answer. We've just proven that there is no right answer for this prophecy. No right answer? But how could that be? Although the instructions had come from an old and enigmatic prophecy, it is in fact nothing like the ancient mechanism that we had all imagined it to be. I believe the lantern only serves as a simple signal. And... Ah... Uh. And to think. Oh? I never expected you to actually find this place. Wait, what is she doing here? I know she was sus. <laughs> what? There's someone else here? Is that girl just now? We meet again, traveler. Hey! You and that outlander we met the other day at Good Hunter! Yeah. It's all thanks to you that I was able to find this place. Good thing that you were too preoccupied with the prophecy to notice someone tailing you from the shadows. Yes, she Oh, is that so? Then, why do I spy yet another person <laughs> following in your shadow? Yeah, she she was already found found something sus about her already. Wait, really? <laughs> so Rosaria is here too, okay. There's no need for pleasantries. You should know I'm here for you. Is it just because I'm a visitor from abroad? I was there when you snuck your way into Marjorie's place. Huh. So you had your eyes on me even then, huh? That was two whole weeks ago, you know. It's hard not to notice you when I'm on duty every day. All right. In that case, I'll admit it. Yes, it was her. I was the person who slipped this prophecy into the storybook. But she said she didn't find this place. After all, don't worry. Even though you probably have plenty of reservations about me, you can be sure that the prophecy is genuine. In fact, many of you here today may have heard the code name of the one who left the prophecy to me. Code name? I. She hailed from an ancient assembly of powerful women, each of whom used a single letter to signify themselves. A single letter? Who would have guessed? Seems that power was indeed left behind by the old hag after all. It is. It is. This confirms it. <laughs> it is Alice. Mona really kind of knows. Ah, so you're B student. It's an honor to meet you. B? I am Scarlet, the successor of J. Successor of J. They're really using letters. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Literally letter. <laughs> Alright then. It's a long story, but I'm not quite sure that I'm the best person to tell it. So who is this B? And Since you've who's... all spent so much time and energy trying to decipher this prophecy, you must also be very interested in the secret behind this lantern, no? The lantern has already been lit. Now then, 
Please yeah. allow me to Everyone disturb stand up. your happy peace. Please allow me to disturb your... Is that uh, what you need to say for it to activate? <gasps> Why did this little thing just light up? How strange. Who's that? Hello? On the other side of the lantern. Can you hear me over there? Mom? Oh my god, it is. Uh, oh. We are actually talking to Alice now? This is not a message. Hmm. Oh, I hear many youthful Oh voices. shit, it's actually Alice. We are actually talking to Alice and not a message. Madam, I am Scarlet, the successor of Jay. Okay, so J is not... J is some other... Alice is what, E? Oh! <clears throat> Since we've last gathered, J's successor has already become so reckless and bold. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you talking just like the old hag? It is her. <laughs> it is Alice. Go on, Mona. Oh, B is Alice? I'm getting confused with the, the code names. <clears throat> and what of imitation and mimicry? It has always been a fool's errand to mimic and learn from humanity. Oh, it's Alice. I'm here too. On Alice, oh yeah. <laughs> Mom, why are you trying to talk like other people? Okay, so... They're really confusing me, yeah, yeah. The Ma Mona's master is not Alice, there's someone else. Uh, oh, yeah. So I see everyone's here. Well then, my warmest greetings, everyone. Miss Alice, why would you... Well, it's been many years since this lantern last lit up. You can't blame me for thinking that one of the old friends from my youth may have decided to catch up again. Uh, why she sounds so coy all of a sudden? <laughs> And if I recall correctly, we left this lantern in the care of the animal Archon Barbados. Hmm. You must be commended for uncovering an artifact entrusted to the god of wind himself. Fenty. Tell me, are you sitting around my beloved tea party table? Oh, that's where we are. It's a really long table. Oh, so you are. I suppose this means even the animal Archon has granted you entry to this place. Was all of this Scarlet's doing? Wait, wait. Paimon's completely lost now. So what was this assembly you were talking about earlier? Oh, Miss Alice, would it be alright to leave the explanation of that to you? Mm, what's this <laughs> about? Well, you should be rewarded for making it all the way up here and activating the lantern. Now then. Let me tell you a long and ancient story. Okay. Ever heard of the Hexen Circle? As the spooky Circle. name suggests, it's a secret society. Once upon a time, it even challenged the animal Archon himself. Mm -hmm. But he replied, let us make music, not war, and resolve our conflicts through song. From then on, the mages would only ever convene in the woods, in the skies, or on the edges of cliffs. At these tea parties, they discussed their stories and secrets and resolved their differences, as the tea and cakes bore witness to their pledge never to fight amongst themselves. Yesterday, I snuffed out the life of my beloved. He had grown old and was extremely sick. He loved me dearly, so I took his fate in my hands and ended his pain. Him. I'm raising a son. Of all the children I had, he's the only one left. He's not all the riches. But I suppose that still makes me a mother. My lifespan is nothing compared to yours, so I wish to leave you with my storybook. Actually, maybe you can pass it on to your children one day. Oh, this looks interesting. Let me scribe. Ooh, this is Mona's master. My dear sisters, we 
We mustn't let prophecies threaten our bonds of friendship. And this is Alice. Even the most frightening witch was once a little girl. And growing up can be so tough. Sometimes we all need to vent our troubles to the wind. Even if the nations go to war, or the sky falls down, the mages' tea parties shall forever be held around this table. Hmm. Wow. Ah, so this is where the legendary mages held their meetings. That's right. We often met here to chat and have tea. But then, what about the part saying that if we light the lantern of utmost joy, we'd receive a supreme blessing? The Venti just made it up. Ah, oh, about that. <laughs> I never expected anyone other than Jay to actually read the full contents of that prophecy. It's a little embarrassing. The truth is, that prophecy was actually just a letter that we sent to Jay as a group the day before her wedding. <laughs> oh, what? Hmm. So it was indeed written by all of you. <laughs> I must thank you for resisting the urge to immediately reveal the truth to everybody, Albedo. Knowing you. You probably figured out everything the moment you laid eyes on the message. Resisting the urge to immediately reveal the truth to everybody? That's why Albedo didn't want to say anything on that flower thing. Is it? No, it took me a little longer than that. Okay. A flower that is not of this world. A guide who will never get lost. One who would never lie. And a legend that never ends. These four descriptions Ooh. signify four individual mages. There are four mages. When a member of the organization had to leave the group to spend the rest of her days with her beloved, the other mages would write down this prophecy and send it to her to invite her for a final get-together. A flower that is not of this world signifies, of course, flowers that do not naturally exist in this world. This is the signature of R. Ryan Daughter. Ryan Daughter. Also known as Gold. Okay. If there's anyone in this world who could create a flower species that does not yet exist, it would be her. That's the creator of Albedo. The guide who will never get lost is N, otherwise known as Nicole. Nicole. You may not have encountered her yet, but she is a truly extraordinary woman who has made this world's direction and order her subject of study. Some of you may be fortunate enough to have already heard her voice. Hmm? Like a prophetess, she will only speak to guide people toward the truth when a change has occurred in the world. Wait. When a change has occurred in the world. Is it? She has a tendency to suddenly speak in someone's mind without any warning. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sumer Sumeru Archon Quest uh, uh, interlude flashback. Was that her? Oh my god, it is. So it's not... It's not... Uh, it's not Fossil Law. It's not... What was that? I, I, I first thought... Uh, I already forgot suddenly, but it's not okay. So it's everyone's theory about who that voice is is all wrong. <laughs> okay, it's Nicole. If one day you would be unfortunate enough to run into a truly dangerous situation, she may use her voice to guide the way forward for you. <sighs> Damn. Who would have guessed that there are so many mysterious women in this world, and that they would all know each other? The one who would never lie is. Me. I oh, hope no she's one would take offense. Okay. It's just that I, Alice, or A for short, have always had a soft spot for those with sincerity and candor. So Alice is the one who would never lie. Okay. As for a legend that never ends, you may not know M mm. in person, but you've likely encountered one of her works. Have any of you ever read The Boar Princess? <gasps> oh. It's her work. What's her, what's her name then? Huh? I'm pretty sure every child in Mondstadt has read that book. 
It's also one of my favorite stories. M was an exceptional human writer who used her prose to teach me the meaning of grief. Don't you think such a person would deserve a seat at the mage's table? Paimon's getting more and more lost. <laughs> it may sound hard to believe, but I can attest to everything that Alice has said. Jay was also a mortal who Jay. aged and passed on, leaving her title to her students and followers. Alice, you've never acknowledged any of Jay's successors. It's now been centuries since the first of us took on her mantle. I've always wanted to meet you. Do you also want to become a mage? Title aside, I think I'm more interested in the meaning and purpose of the Hexen Circle. Hexen Circle, that's what they call it. I used to think that the Hexen Circle was a group of women who could control the very fate of this world. But now, I've seen for myself that besides Jay, many other ordinary people were also among you. Do you think less of us now? No, not at all. My interest has been piqued, and I'm now even more drawn towards the idea of becoming a mage. You're right. I've never acknowledged any of Jay's successors. But you are different. You are much more fascinating than any of your predecessors. Oh, has someone finally piqued Aunt Alice's <laughs> interest? Now is not a good time, Scarlet, but as soon as I am able, I will seek you out for a meeting. I want you to tell me all about Jay's married life back in her hometown. So the mage who received the prophecy letter from all of you was Jay? She left the Hexen Circle after getting married? Precisely. There was only mm. one way the letter could have been interpreted. She would have known what we meant as soon as she saw the message. We were just asking one thing of her. Please come to see us again before you go and settle forever with your happiness. Please come share some of it with your best friends and sisters. So, the Supreme Blessing actually meant... All journeys are fleeting and will eventually come to an end. What will give us the most fulfillment and happiness in the end are those who will greet us at our journey's destination. Dear child, I believe you can also understand what I am talking about. We women will always have many troubles and encounter pains and frustrations that will keep us up at night. But no matter how hard things may become, we will cross mountains and oceans to see our best friends again. <laughs> regardless of how many years have passed or how far the distance may be, as long as we can be with our beloved friends, our hearts will be filled with joy. To us mages, that's what being supremely blessed is all about. <sighs> still don't get it, but I do know that all the mages are mom's best friends. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask how I see it, the Hexen Circle is just a group of ladies that I spent my youth with. Anyway, I'll introduce some of the other members to you all later. I still have a few things to attend to, so this will have to do for today. Bye, Mom! Todoko says bye, too! <laughs> Goodbye, darling, and farewell to all of our other friends as well. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Aww. Oh, now that I think of it, isn't it getting close to that time of year? Yes, mm -hmm. it's wind bloom again, Alice. It's also a special anniversary date. I'm sure you still remember. Yes, I do remember now. It was on this day many, many years ago that Jay tied the knot. Oh. Just in time for the Festival of Love and Freedom. Everyone, please enjoy this year's Windbloom Festival to the fullest. Wow. Alice's voice fades and the lantern grows dim. It's once again just a regular piece of decor. Wow. Everyone looks lost in thought, but soon Chatter begins to fill the space again. Everyone spreads their gliders to return to Mondstadt. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me we'd have to glide all the way back down? Can we sit down? Is there a bit oh, yeah, there is. I would like to take some pictures here for a while. <laughs> Don't mind me.
I want to zoom up. Oh, there we go. Got them lantern. <laughs> hey, I didn't ask you to zoom up. Nah, that will do. Wait, yeah, I can sit on all tables. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, let's just take everyone. Everyone in the story. I'll ensure you're safe. I think Kali and Mona was the other way, the other way around. But uh, whatever. It's not a good angle. Yeah, I think no, I think one now is supposed to be there. Ah, that's a matter. Lah. The maze was here. So Yeah, I'll just sit right there, whatever. Doesn't matter. Lah. <laughs> Where's this wherever the seat's supposed to be? He wasn't even sitting down. But then Okay, I think that's enough. We can still get up here, right? The wind current is still here. This time we can go back up here. <laughs> but once the event is over, I think we can't. Is there anything else up here? Just the table? La la la. Alright then. Uh. Return to Monster. Um... No, it's curious. I'm just teleporting. <laughs> and... Alright, we're back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just oh, a little glider sick, that's all. You may want to look into getting your own gliding license when you have the time. <laughs> it might prove helpful to you. Uh, okay. Sure thing. It sounds like you've still got something on your mind. Why don't you tell us? We're all happy to listen. <sighs> it's nothing, really. It's just... Well, Alice's story was really interesting and romantic. I won't argue about that. But still, the whole thing wasn't quite what I was hoping for. Of course, I didn't actually expect the supreme blessing to be real, but... <sighs> Don't say that. None of this was your fault, Timaeus. Honestly, it's more on me for having agreed to be the Wimbloom Festival Special Ambassador. Had I not asked for everyone's help, if anything... It should be my fault for finding that prophecy. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to blame the two of you either. I just feel like this whole adventure didn't really end on a high note, and we also didn't really get anything out of it. Mm, yeah, I guess, kind of. Hmm. But I'd say we still learned something new. Well, that aside, Timis, you still need to go to Liyue to apologize to Yingar, right? Do you want Kali and I to accompany you? Oh, Miss Ying R. Well, uh, I mean, I just really don't want her to get mad at me. Now that I've come back to my senses, oh, uh, I really don't know what I should do. Hey, you three, you may want to look over there. Oh, she's here. <laughs> Ying is here. Huh? 
She's in Mondstadt. Miss Ying R? Oh, so that's Miss Ying R? I've never met her before. Yep, that's her. And she actually came all the way to Mondstadt. I, I am so sorry, Miss Ying R. But, but how did you... I mean... <laughs> Are you so happy just to see me? I, uh... Well, of course I am. I'm so happy that uh, I don't, uh... <laughs> sorry, I, I don't know what to say. I was ready to give you a harsh scolding. But now that I've seen you like this, I suppose I could let you off the hook this time. You said you couldn't come to pick me up because of a very important matter, right? Well then, of course I had to come and find you instead. <laughs> Should we go see how they're doing? I wouldn't. You'll get hit by a forest boar if you interrupt a couple's romantic conversation. Oh, really? Uh, we'll just leave them alone then. <laughs> That's what Moon Boom's all about. <laughs> I am so glad to see Timaeus find his happiness. I have to say, I'm even more envious of you, Sucrose. You can be happy just to see others happy. And you gave me so much help without any expectations in return. Even though you said that we're very much alike, I still feel like you have a much bigger heart than I do. Hey, get more friends now. <laughs> Carly got a new friend to hang out with, Supers. But if you say that, then I'd say I'm also nowhere near as brave or tenacious as you. I guess we have the same amount of positive qualities. They're just spread over different parts of our personalities. I've never visited Sumeru, or made many friends from outside of Mondstadt. I'm happy just to have met and become your friend. Maybe I'll get shy and flustered when I meet other people I don't know in the future. But that's okay too. Since we are so alike, you probably get what I'm trying to say. You just need to believe that all of your issues aren't really issues at all. But, isn't it too late now for me to learn to accept myself? Uh, well... Hmm. Do you know anything about the blooming cycles of Cecilius? Um, I may have read about that in a book before. That's a topic that my parents used to talk about back when they were still dating. Surprising, right? To think that people would talk about that while on a date. My mom brought it up at dinner one time last month. She called my dad the most boring man she knew and said that he even turned up late to a date once, all with a smile on her face. But she also said that learning is just another part of life. It's never too late to start something, as long as you recognize that it's something good for you to do. Hmm. Why don't you give it a try, Kale? Okay, I'll try my best. They are really having a great conversation. Mm -hmm. Paimon can't even find a moment to join in! They're getting along so well. I nearly forgot. This is for you. The tetra whatever it was. This texture. Are these seeds? Yep. I believe I mentioned my sweet flower research to you before. These are the seeds of the sweet flower cultivars that I've worked on. It's nothing too special. But they're the best cultivars that I've made. So... I really hope that you'll like them. They're super sweet and easy to grow and keep. I'm also submitting them as my wind blooms for this year. <sighs> I wish that the animal Archon could also see how lovely they are. Thank you. I'll plant them in the Avidia forest and take good care of them. <laughs> Kale, please take these notes with you. I've heard that you've been working hard on your studies, so I've prepared some study materials for you at Sukosa's request. Feel free to look through them whenever you can find the time. Mondstadt's doors will always remain open to you. Uh, thank you so much. Really, I... <laughs> I don't know what to say. I... I'm just really happy. Ah, Sucrose, now's your chance. Didn't you want to collect a breath of joy? Uh, yeah. <sighs> You're right. I almost forgot. Kale... Can you exhale once into this test tube? I will save this breath of joy and use it in my research. Oh, really? May I? Of course. 
de bare lidt. <laughs> Master Trinori! Sino! If your friendship was forged in a test tube, does that make you test friends? No, forever? stop, Sino. We don't want to hear any more of your jokes. <laughs> That's it. I think you've ruined Sumeru's reputation in Mondstadt beyond all hope of repair. Beyond repair. <laughs> all that matters is that I've enjoyed Mondstadt immensely. <sighs> the dragon here possesses a majestic form. Oh, did Sino see the dragon already? Oh, that reminds me. Traveler, this card back is for you. Didn't Sino commission this? Sino wanted you to have one for yourself. If I had to guess, I'd say he probably wants you to use it if you challenge him to a duel. Oh, okay. I'm a master of the game. Do you dare challenge me? Let's challenge this battle. <laughs> It's time to duel. Wait, Are we actually doing this? <laughs> I've got something to give you too. Okay, not yet. We're not dueling yet. Huh? Kali has a gift for us? I mean, we have dueled before. Yeah. <laughs> I figured I should follow local mods at customs and prepared a few small things themed after the Windbloom Festival. Oh? I made these bookmarks That's with the Sumeru Sumeru roses. roses at the hotel. I want to give them to Amber, Master Tainari, and Sino. Sumeru Rose Bookmark. During Windbloom, Monsetters offer flowers to the people most important to them. You three are family to me. But Tainari said that we're not anything like an academic family. He wouldn't write joint papers with us. <laughs> well, in this case, we can consider ourselves as regular siblings. And that should be just fine. <laughs> I agree. Oh, and here are some Padisara seeds as well. Padisara These seeds. are for the Traveler, Haimon, and everyone else from Mondstadt. Whoa, are these really for us? So, are these your chosen Windblooms? Mm-hmm, one of them. Both Potty Sours and Sumeru Roses are my Windblooms. Although they're not native to Mondstadt, they are the flowers that can best express my feelings. I want to give them to the people I feel thankful for. To those who... I wish to accompany as we greet more seasons and future Windblooms together. The real blessing in life is when you are surrounded by people who you'd miss day and night and who you'd <laughs> want to see even if that meant crossing mountains and oceans to do so. <laughs> that sounds familiar. I'm so happy to hear you say that. <gasps> Sucrose, do you see that cloud over there? It's always a test tube this time. Huh? Doesn't it look just like your test tube? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of the Windbloom Festival. Call this Windbloom. Quest item. The only flower that can serve as a Windbloom and convey her gratitude and well wishes is the party Sarah. Okay. Since it's a quest item, I don't think we can use it <laughs> to plant. Alright. And I, oh, you can notice here. Yeah. Hold on. Can you hear what am, am I? Am I dreaming? Uh, Miss Ying R, you really came all the way to Mondstadt to see me? Why were you willing to make the trip? I still can't believe it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to come see you? Hmm? It's not like a quick trip from Liyue to Mondstadt is completely unheard of or anything. Also, isn't it time for you to drop the miss and just call me Yingar? Oh, Yingar. <laughs> Yingar. <laughs> I, I, I think I still need some time to get used to calling you that. <laughs> Look at you, 
already so flustered. And we're just getting started. Uh, no, no, I, uh, I... I'm just overwhelmed with happiness. Thank you so, so much for coming to see me for Windbloom. Try talking to Timaeus? Uh... Nah. <laughs> that didn't be. Uh, okay. Well... Does that mean everyone else's uh, positions are now changed? Everyone else is somewhere else now, I think. Because I remember Sano and Mika were here. But now Sano has saw the dragon. I'm pretty sure everyone has moved somewhere else. <laughs> I'll just take a quick check here. This is the only one I remember. I don't think they are here anymore. Yeah, I don't think they are here anymore. So I know and Mika are not here. Okay, so they changed already the location. <laughs> Alright then. I guess I'll go and do my events again. I need to perfect another song. And yeah, I think I'll end the video right here. So that's the end of the Windbloom Festival. Yeah, there's no more. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.